Kamusta kayong lahat? Welcome to Pinoy Crossover, guys. It's your boy, Marky Mark. The show for the Filipino community, the basketball show. Like you guys know, this is Marky Mark. On my left side, we got who we got here? JR. What's up, guys? How you feeling? Good, man. Glad to be back. Woo! Done Finished school. school, right? Oh, yeah. We're done Congrats. school. Congrats. Graduating. Yay! Finally. Yay, all right. <laughs> Let's go straight up to our guest right here. Special guest because PJ is not here tonight. Mr. Friends. Yeah, thank you. Thanks you, for having me back. Yeah, this guy loves to be in our show. So yeah, we, I love we, the show, love, we love we having you here, man. Why not? <laughs> well, we're going to go straight up to our fellow Raptors. Mm -hmm. What do you guys thought so far about the whole series against Washington? What has been going on? What have you noticed so far? What did you like? What did you not like so far? Friends. Um, okay, so them being the first seed, I expected, uh, you know, maybe like a gentleman sweep or mm. like a, a whole entire sweep yeah. overall. But... I'm surprised they're actually struggling and, you know, now they're, well, they're up one now, but uh, I didn't imagine that they would be tied with Washington. Uh, I thought this whole time that they would actually steal one game at least in Washington. So the best way for them to do now is, um, you know, finish it. Yeah, steal, steal a game. Yeah, yeah no. I thought we were going to bring the Willis too, like, you know, we call it out. Willis, so, yeah. when they had that two point, like 2-0. Mm. Uh, what have you noticed so far with the Raptors in terms of how they played this postseason? Well, I like what they've been using with not only the starters with DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry, but JV, as always, has been an, a very huge impact throughout the whole playoffs, mm -hmm. past years as well, including this series in, against Washington. And just like the recent game in Game 5, they, Dwayne Casey allowed JV to play a lot of minutes uh, in that fourth quarter, especially with one of one, those two, two or three plays where JV actually poke John Wall's pocket, stole the ball, oh, that gave it to the Lara right to DeMar DeRozan for the dunk. JV was a, a huge impact. You know, it, it's, it's great to see JV playing well. Mm -hmm. um, bench mob, you know, they, they've been struggling here and there. Uh, there's no Fred Van Vliet. Um, but DeLon Wright is stepping up a huge quarter for him in the fourth quarter in, in game five. Throughout the whole series, I think that this series, this matchup could have been going to game seven, which I believe it will. Um, I don't think Raptors... Uh, would be winning in Washington because I think that John Wall and Bradley Beal, the whole Washington Wizards team, has that much of a confidence to win at their home court. They're really pretty much, they have a good record winning um, at home, and Raptors don't have a good record winning away in, during the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And there was concerns about John Wall coming from off an injury, right? Mm -hmm. But he John Wall smooth. has been... He looked like he didn't miss a beat. John Wall has been playing very well and is playing like adversity from being down 0-2. And this, this is gonna, it's going to happen again, what he did against the Boston, Boston series a year ago. But I do believe the Toronto Raptors will win in Game 7 mm. in the next, on Sunday, probably. I mean, let's talk about, I guess, Fred Van Fleet because he was, a big, uh, he was a big factor for them in terms of how they played through, through the regular season. What kind of impact could he have had for the Raptors if he was able to play through that first five games? Uh, my opinion, like... Leadership, uh, ball handling, and um, you know three-point shooting. Mm -hmm. Three-point shooting mostly. Um, you know, you see the whole season uh, he's been making big shots, clutch shots, um, and also uh, he's been able to drive inside the lane. Mm -hmm. So that's what Raptors truly miss while yeah. him not being around. So yeah. like um, you know he, he said, um, the long right really stepped up in a big way. Um, well, hopefully, um, maybe he'll come back sooner than later. Yeah. You know? He is, quite, he is questionable for the next few games. Um, yeah. yeah, Fred Van Vliet is like one of those mini bulldogs. You know, you got Kyle Lowry as a bulldog, got Fred yeah. Van Vliet as a mini bull, bulldog, even that three-point shoot. Uh, whether you, you have CJ Miles shooting threes, DeLon Wright even shooting threes, Pascal Siakam. Mm -hmm. uh, Fred Van Vliet, actually, he pushes the ball, makes it, gets it quicker off the court, and he, like, he, helps, he helps the team. He gives a lot of boost, not, not just himself, but like the whole bench. Mm -hmm. uh, they just, just need to find consistency. I know it's, it's only the benches in, in their... Playing together is kind of their first time playing together in, in the mm -hmm. playoffs. So we, we do need um, those guys to step up a little bit more. And probably even the, even the backcourt too, like DeMar Dose and Kyle Lowry. They're, mm -hmm. they're in there playing fourth quarters True. throughout the whole series. They, mm -hmm. they haven't been playing well in the fourth quarter. They've just led on towards the, the it's other the It's the other, uh, other role players that are stepping up for them in the fourth mm -hmm. quarter. I guess for the Raptors to win, what would be the advice? Not an advice, but what would be the main thing, the main factor that they have to do? to beat the Wizards, not maybe in game six, maybe in game seven, what would be the factor if you have to focus on one thing, what would it be? Uh, you have to focus on defense. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what wins uh, games, right? Mm -hmm. So 
once they uh, handle the defense, then you know they already have offensive power this whole season. So mm -hmm. uh, once they um, steal the ball, block shots, and you know rebound, um, in my opinion, they'll win the game with no problem. That defense is very key, and what we see in the in game five and like what game game four I believe or no sorry yeah game four game three we saw like hero ball coming mm -hmm. back to haunt Toronto Raptors you know mm -hmm. they they try to change their culture the culture change of passing the ball moving away from the isolation ball they can go isolation ball when there's like what five seconds left on the clock with like LeBron James having the ball left shooting shooting the ball for the game winner but when it comes down to when you have like 10 plays left with two minutes on the clock you guys don't need to go here ball. Keep trusting your players. Keep trusting each other and passing the ball around, having that consistency and, you know, getting a, getting a good shot. Mm -hmm. Be co having a co composed offense, you know, mm -hmm. and, and they'll, they'll definitely succeed. Yeah, I guess for me, like, one thing advice for them is, uh, what I've noticed too is it's turnovers. Like if mm -hmm. they take care of the basketball, they're such a good team. And Washington's really good at converting turnovers into points. So for them, if they just take care of the basketball, I think they can get it on game six. But uh, we both, we all know that their <laughs> away, <laughs> away performance is not as good. But if they take care of the ball, I think they have yeah. a really good chance of taking it home. For sure.